What is up everybody, my name is Earthy Choice, and today I'm bringing you a Halo 4 tips and tricks on the map complex. This gameplay is from myself, uh, I got a perfection 22 and 0. Um, it's kind of a long gameplay but there are some good tri tricks I am going to learn you today, like how to play this map, what are the power positions, where to go for in the beginning of the game. So one teammate of us goes to the sniper rifle. And three of us go to the energy sword. Maybe that's not the smartest move ever, but at least we, at least we, know very well that we are gonna get this energy sword. Maybe one of us should go to the main ra main building right now, which is in the middle of the map. So I see someone below me. I am not gonna rush for him because of the energy sword because it's easily gonna get me killed. I see someone on top of the building, so I call it out to my teammates. He snipes him through the head. I don't actually know if he no that's not a headshot, but we take him out very easily. So I see someone on my radar, throw a couple nades. I know he's not facing me right now; he is, but I could take him out very easily because he's weak. Putting down my regen shield. I know he's tight around the corner, so I think I can get them with the energy launch. Uh, I thought I would have him the first time, but of course this is not the energy sword from Halo Reach. Now it's just a matter of controlling these buildings and knowing where the enemies spawn and of course where the enemies are right now. So you always need one or two guys in main building, someone like near that ramp thing, trying to just shoot with the DMR or the battle rifle and just team fire at them so they can't really do anything. I see one or two of my teammates die so I put down my region shield because nades are hitting me. See this guy, bam, with the energy sword, easy cheesy kill for the killing spree. Now I'm just trying to look where they are, where they spawn. Uh, see my teammate spawns over here, so they couldn't be like over here. Uh, now I notice that they're in the ramp building thing. So I call it out to my teammates and uh, we just kind of start to fire. It's not really smart of them just going out there because we can easily team fire on them. I pick up my overshield because I thought it would be nice in this situation to uh, push up in the building. See guy, an easy kill over here. Sniper rifle is lying on that ground so I'm just gonna cover it. Too bad that guy nearly escapes. Now I see someone on my radar, I see he's invisible. I don't go chasing after him because uh, that's a mistake a lot of people make. By the way I'm putting this regen shield down for my friend. So I know that guy's weak, I know I'm weak too, but I think I can chase him because he has he's running away from me so he can't just turn around on me and give me a headshot and there were no enemies nearby. So I could just easily chase him. I see my teammate spawning in the main building so I know it's safe in the main building, I know they're not there. So I can easily just shoot that enemy from over there. Just again, kind of spawn trapping them, shooting them where they are spawning. It's just what it means. <laughs> this guy's jackpacking. We're with three guys shooting him, so that's not very smart of him. You see, I'm on a killing frenzy right now. I want to stay alive as long as possible because I really want to get a perfection. This actually was my first perfection, but that's not really the point. So this guy comes around again, and uh, we just finish him off easily. You want to just wreck the ghost with your DMR, it's really powerful, especially when you're shooting him with like 4 people, it go, would go down in like 10 seconds, 5 seconds, and uh, you don't want to give the ghost a chance of actually just surviving. I'm also checking for people to spawn and uh, where they are right now, because I only see a ghost and one guy on the left of my screen, but I, I didn't really notice that, I think. Also, what you saw like 2 seconds ago, um, you saw like one of my teammates push too far. It was my friend Grayfed, of course you again. No, he pushed too far and he got killed because the enemy started spawning behind you. You don't want to let that happen because it's really annoying. Uh, you just want to stay like behind this line, just behind cover and everything and try to team fire. I notice that the enemy is now spawning behind us, so I start shooting them. 
while still of course behind cover. I call it out to my teammates so we can again start to team fire them. I know these guys are weak so I tell my teammates to push up on the grav lift room. Since I still have my energy sword I can easily just take them down as soon as they come up over the lift. Of course they are throwing nades so I put down my regen shield so it doesn't really do a lot of damage. So get an easy double kill, call in my ordnance just before they spawn. Uh, also I kinda need a long range weapon because you always want to have like a long range weapon. Probably gonna switch out this energy sword soon because I'm not gonna leave it right now when it's my great chance to kill them all with my energy sword. Just checking them for weak people to kill with my uh, saw. I see like over at the ram building I see a ghost. You don't want to go challenge that because first of all he's a ghost and I'm like alone going after that. Uh, you don't want to challenge your ghost, you want to just shoot it from far. I see a guy uh, on my radar, he's invisible, so I just I don't want to just chase him all the way. Give a couple shots in him, get the wingman medal. Uh, my friend cleans him up with the beam rifle, I think. Nice shots. I switch out my energy sword for the DMR, because you never want to actually carry two power-ups at the same time. Maybe when it's shotgun and sniper rifle or anything. And also you just want to have a close range and a long to mid range weapon. And I call the DMR long to mid range weapon and uh, saw a pretty much short range weapon. Also a DMR and a sniper rifle are re really good combination because you can just easily sh make them one shot with your sniper rifle and finish up the kill with your DMR. So I call out my teammates that there's a saw over here because I'm gonna I'm about to switch it out. And no one is coming except for that dude with energy sword, but he's not gonna pick it up. So two goes on top uh, of the ramp. I'm not gonna go chase them, I just go in this uh, little graph lift room. Pretty mu we won pretty much the game. <laughs> it's like 400 to 70. Kinda no chance at all that we're gonna lose anymore. Trying to look for some people to give them easy headshots or body shot and finish them off with the DMR. I'm gonna wreck this ghost with my... The uh, sniper rifle and I'm lucky to get this snapshot on that dude. Snapshot. So I make this dude one shot and I see if I can ch chase him with the DMR. I probably shouldn't because all my teammates are over here. I just call it out to my teammates to finish up the kill. See this guy in main building, just gonna sh 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 snipe him. <laughs> and um, gonna go in main building with my teammate. Because main building is pretty much a power position you want, always want to get. So here trying to go on top of the main building, that's also a pretty smart move. Uh, just firing down on the enemy. One down, one top. But of course you always want to stay behind cover. So right now my last goal is to stay alive and get a lot of kills, <laughs> of course. Uh, take this guy easily out with my sniper rifle, just checking some more dudes to kill with my sniper rifle, of course. Uh, checking for their spawn, see some people coming up the the, the, the the stairs, of course. But trying to finish them off, get one kill, get an assist. Uh, pick up the uh, grenades, always handy to have some grenades. This guy has nothing, so I just shoot him in the freaking head. Uh, trying to bounce this grenade off. It's not really smart to put my regen shield down here because he can profit of it too. I noticed I'm getting shot from behind, so this is a pretty scary situation. But luckily my teammate helps me out, pick up the overshield because I know these people in the spawn are team firing on me. So maybe I can just team fire back, uh, get a nice snipe on him, get the assist medal, and get a headshot. Next kill wins, so... Thanks for watching everybody, hope you enjoyed this uh, epic commentary, perfection, tips and tricks. Uh, please like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Can we get 5 likes? 10 likes maybe? See you.